Okay, children, here's how I make my Thanksgiving dinner. It's nothing fancy because I always had to cook for a lot of people, so I try to keep it as simple as possible. First of all, wear an apron. Trust me. You'll be wiping your hands a lot, and it just keeps your clothes clean. So for this, I use, I just bought a chicken, so I didn't have to make a turkey ahead of time. Uh, but I do the same thing for roast chicken as I do for turkey. So you're going to take make sure you remove the neck and the bag with the organs. Check both cavities. I squeeze lemon over the whole bird. Then I put the lemon in the cavity when I'm done. Just make sure you get the seeds out. I add garlic cloves and salt and pepper to the cavity. I drizzle olive oil on the outside of the bird, sprinkle salt and pepper and cayenne pepper on the bird. And if you don't want it to be a little spicy, just don't put cayenne pepper on it. <clears throat> uh, I highly suggest you invest in a meat thermometer and use it on the bird. So there are some times there to make sure you check what the pound is of your turkey or your chicken. Um, and then you have a rough estimate of how long you have to cook it. There are different ways to cook it, so I usually leave the lid off <clears throat> for about an hour or so, and then I'll put it on for a little bit, uh, and then I'll take it off at the end. And then I just put this little chart in here because I'm going to share these slides with you, but you can always Google. Uh, buy it frozen. Make sure you put it in the fridge for at least three days so it's, nice, it's thawed. And then for my stuffing, I use celery, onion, mushrooms, butter, walnuts, stuffing mix, broth, salt, and pepper. I usually will combine the cube stuffing with the um, classic, that's a little bit smaller pieces, and broth. Um, once you remove the gizzards and the heart and the neck, you cook those in some chicken broth and some. you can add some water also. The neck, the meat on the neck is really good, but you cannot give the neck bones to dogs, so don't do that. But you can pull the meat off if you don't want to eat it and give it to your dogs. The gizzards usually get chopped up and put back in the stuffing. But if you don't want to eat that, I would give that to the dogs also. And the heart I usually eat because it's really good. So just put a little salt on it. And then there are, there's also liver in there. Do not add that. Do not cook that with your other stuff because it's gross and it's going to make everything taste icky. Um, I usually cook that in the microwave with a paper towel over it and then I give it to the dogs. So saute your on onions and your celery and your mushrooms in the butter and then add the chopped walnuts. And then I add, I just put that right in the same pan that I cooked the gizzards in. And you can always add a little bit more water or broth after you add the stuffing. So you, and then you mix it up, put it in a greased pan, put some foil on it. Because you're not stuffing your bird, you don't have to worry about your stuffing as much because you really have to be careful if you stuff a bird. I don't recommend you do that because then you have to worry about it not being cooked through all the way or having it being contaminated. So just cook it in another pan. You can also make it make it ahead and then just refrigerate it. And then I usually will pour some um, of the juice from the tur turkey on this stuffing uh, right at the end. But you can also just put gravy on it. So for uh, sweet potatoes, if I'm making a lot, I usually will bake them in the oven the day ahead of time and scoop them out. And then I'll add my butter, my cinnamon, my maple syrup, and usually turbinado sugar for a little crunch. But if you're just making a few, you could just microwave them. Just put a little oil, just prick with a knife on one side um, and cook them. Keep checking them until they're soft and then uh, slice them open and scoop them out. And then for my gravy, and again, mostly because I'm trying to save time and I'm not getting fancy, I just um, take the bird out of the pan and then I will put mixed flour and water and then I will add that slowly to this pan and keep stirring it and taste it uh, and then I'll dump it into the gravy boat so it's got bits and pieces of stuff in it and then for mashed potatoes I just add unsalted butter sour cream milk salt and pepper you can also add some cheddar cheese if you'd like some people add cream cheese and then I usually just mix cranberry jelly and whole cranberries for a side and then serve something green that you like, like Brussels sprouts or asparagus or green beans. Um, some people blend their 
uh, potatoes. I don't blend them and nor do I peel them because that's too much work when you're making a lot. So, and I think they taste better and they're more nutritious if you leave the skin on. So there is my quick look at how I make Thanksgiving dinner. I miss everybody. I love you all. Stay safe, mama.